This is Austin St. John, and you are watching That Hashtag Show. You better pay attention. Hey guys, this is Joe with That Hashtag Show. I am here at Power Morphcon. Adam! Hunter was an amazing character. You were one half of the of the of the Bradley brothers. How uh, how how fun was your season? Uh, it was awesome fun. Um, so when we first got there, uh, I flew over from Australia down to New Zealand. Beautiful spot. Saw some amazing beaches. But um, the cast itself, uh, including Jorge, the two Katrinas that are here, um, Pua, Sally, Glenn, Jason. A lot, of, a lot of us had history already, so as soon as we came in, there was always already that connection. Well, you guys already knew each other. Well, so Jason and I did three years at an acting school called NIDA in Australia. We were in the same class. The last play we did uh, of, of our final year, we played Partners in Crime on stage, and then the first gig we get out of drama school, we were together in that. So for us, that was, uh, that was pretty epic. And then even Glenn, he lived 15 minutes from my house in Adelaide, in my hometown. So. That was our connection. I knew his sister really well. I'd actually been at his house for a New Year's party the, the year before we actually started the show. So we all had connections. So when, when you have that situation, I think it's really easy to, to, to walk into something like that and, and be comfortable. You know, what's interesting, so you guys go to this stage show, this play. Obviously, it's a natural transition to go to Power Rangers after that. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. I mean, Completely Power Rangers, yeah. It's, uh, well, look, there wasn't a lot of uh, given circumstances or objectives when, when it was coming to learning the script. What you need to do is you just had to, need to have a lot of cool panache when you're when you're going through the lines. So we get our sides that day, and I'd read through them, and I'd learn my lines in my trailer, and and then we go out. Look, because there was so many stunts and things like that, that was there was more time spent on those. So when the acting sort of side of it came, it was sort of the easy part, if you know. Sure, sure. Now you guys are the first full Disney season, and also the first season to shoot in New Zealand. Um, how was, I mean, obviously you didn't you didn't spend any time on the other series, but was Power Rangers kind of in New Zealand already at the time? No, well, so it was quite uh, interesting that Power Rangers, I mean, I grew up um, with the Ninja Turtles and then um, Mighty Morphin, so I did see all that when I was a kid. Um, but then when we were shooting the show, censorship laws didn't allow it to be shown in Australia or New Zealand, so no one knew of it. So when we actually finished shooting, we felt none of this fandom like I have for the last three days. So for me, I'm getting all of it done in these three days and it's been crazy epic. It's been awesome. Is this your first convention? This is uh, not my first convention, but this this is my first convention when I look at it and go, this has been so huge. I did one in uh, uh, Warrensburg, Missouri and one in Orlando. But they were anime festivals and another one was StealthCon. They weren't Power Ranger heavy, so this one for me has been just a real eye-opener. Uh, it's been crazy meeting all these fans. I, I haven't stopped talking for three days. It's been great. Wait a minute. You were at our party last night at, at the Angel Grove Prom. Let me ask you about... Was. You showed up. I just saw you briefly, but you were there. Did you have a good time? I had a great time. It was my first opportunity to have a few drinks with some of the other Power Rangers. I won't go into names, but um, there's, a, there's a green samurai ranger that uh, I've, uh, I'm going to have to have a chat to because he hasn't rocked up this morning. Yeah, I'm here representing. And, uh, and Hector, I don't know, he's, he was doing backflips off, off the stage at, at one stage, and I was like, dude, we, we've been having a couple of drinks, man. <laughs> I don't want to see this go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. He was doing backflips off yeah. the stage. Those are the only things you're going to see at that hashtag show change go problem. But I do have a question for you. How well do you know your season? I know my season fairly well, yeah. Did you, did you brush up before you came here just to make sure? Well, uh, look, I, I must admit, I, I enjoyed watching our season um, back you know, even when we first got back and, and when I could actually get hold of some of the episodes, just to get that nostalgia and, and thinking about those days, you know, I, I remember that day on set or I, I remember shooting that scene and, and so yeah, I brushed up a bit, so if you've got something for me, come at me. I do, but before we get into the quiz, I actually do have a question to, to piggyback off of what you just said. Yeah. Um, your season, did you like playing kind of like a villain more or did you like playing the hero more? Well, I think um, Hunter himself, he was sort of, he was, a, he was a little bit separate from the rest of the cast anyway. Even, um, you know, I mean, him and his brother had, had a really great rapport and a great connection, but he was always the darker half. You know, he was all about, um, he was an inner, inner person. So I like playing the evil side uh, to begin with, but then again, a lot of people have been coming up saying, what do you think about being an evil ranger? And I was like, was he evil? I mean, he was revenging his parents. 
would you would you say that was evil? He was lied to by the bad guy, yeah. but he was doing the right thing by him and his brother. So was he really evil? He was just trying to right some wrongs. Spoken like a true villain. Oh. <laughs> uh, now let's let's get into this quiz. Yeah. What was your character's last name? Bradley. Good answer. Yeah. Uh, what see what city did your season take place in? Blue Bay Harbor. Good job. Oh. Good job. Good job. What were the, so the first season had the putties, your season had the? The, the witch? The, the first season had the putties, what were the henchmen of your season? Kelzax. Dude, you're on fire right hey. now. Alright, now, what is the theme song of your season? Uh, deep in the mountains, secret ninja academies t train our future protectors. Ancient scrolls told of three who would become above the others. Three who would become... Go Power Rangers, go Ninja Storm, let's go! That was actually really good, really good. Uh, and final question that we have for the quiz is uh, if you can choose any five Rangers to be on your team. Since this is the 25th anniversary, any five Rangers to be on your team that weren't on your season, who would they be? Right, it's going to have to be the boys that I hung out with last night. So it's going to be uh, uh, Christopher Cayman Lee, uh, Hector, the Green Samurai Ranger. Uh, I need, uh, I'm going to need the um, Silver in Space, uh, which is Justin Nemo. Nemo. I hope he's here because he was a, he was a bad influence last night as well. It had nothing to do with me. Um, and then you know what? Uh, Jason Fort because he was great last night when I met him. And uh, last but not least, I gotta have my Thunder Bro. Well, your Thunder Bro was on your season. You can't okay, I gotta choose him. Okay. Um, so the last but not least, you know what? Jack. Last night, Jack and Jack and I. <laughs> there he is. Oops, um, he and I had a, a couple of drinks as well and got to know him as well. So there, there are some, some of the great guys that I've met. You know, I've met so many great fans and I really wanted to make a, a point of meeting some Power Rangers as well. And, and those guys all reached out and, and had a great time. Yeah, I feel like your Megazord would just be a party van. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's exactly. And yeah, yeah I, I wouldn't rely on us. <laughs> no, 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 it's not. The city is not getting saved. Saving More damage is going to happen, actually. Uh, I do actually have another question. Yeah. Now, I'm not sure if you're even familiar with this, but there was um, a long, I don't know if it's a rumor or speculation or if it was true or not, but before it was going to be Ninja Storm, your season was going to be something called Power Ranger Hexagon. Hexagon yeah. Are you familiar with this? I heard that. I heard that the other day. Uh, a few fans have actually brought that up with me, and I, I had no idea. Um, so, yeah, because there was going to be, I think Jason David Frank was going to be involved. But, um, yeah, that... That was sort of, we never really heard about that while we were doing the show, but um, yeah, when we got the Ninja Storm side of it, um, that's, that's, that's what we did, and then, you know, I'm, I'm glad it happened. Eventually, we're going to do a hexagon table read. I'm going to get you back for that. Yeah, we're going to figure I'll it out. I'll be in. Yeah? I'll be in for sure. Peace. Absolutely. Well, it was a pleasure meeting you. I hope you enjoyed Power Morphicon. Thank you so much. I am, oh, where can everyone find you on social media? Uh, so yeah, uh, Adam.Tuminen on Instagram, and uh, Adam Tuminen on Facebook. So uh, get, get amongst it, guys. Get those uh, follows going. I'm Joe with that hashtag show. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like, share, and subscribe button to stay up to date with everything trending in geek pop culture.